Okay, VOD review time. I like I like your positioning here. I play here myself. Let's hold this statue. What the? Oh my. Okay. You see, there's Zen charging his orbs at you, and you just go in. Okay, interesting. I feel like you're just engaging too early. Like if they're a better team, they capitalize off of you just doing this. Like you don't hit anyone with I mean, well I guess you kill someone. But before, like, I don't know, I would, I feel like I'm gonna see you engage with Slam a lot. And it doesn't really do anything a lot of the time. Like, unless you're diving with someone, you should try to punch as much as possible to engage. Because you pu you slam in, punch out, and then they just go on you, because you just get no value. Like, if they were smart, they just, like, fully go in here. You don't have abilities, and your whole team dies. I would, uh, yeah, you want to you wanna be using your block after your punch a lot of the time. Not only because you get your, like, that's like the best time to use it because people are looking at you because you just punch them, but also because, like, look, you don't have abilities. So just use your block and, yeah, you want to use it on a corner as well. So, like, you, you back up a little and then you kind of just, like, use it in the open a little. Oh, you don't give me that. Yeah, you want to be using your block after after your punch most of the time. Like if you watch me, if you see when I when I use my block, it's usually after my punch because it just helps you like regain your abilities a lot of the time. Oh my god, he's looking down. He's doing the thing. Holy bad chest. I like that you're aware of this tracer, but like... Uh, you feel just like so lost. Uh, just like hold the hold the the statue and wait for them to come in. A lot going on here. Oh, you should have just gone for the Moira. You wanna you wanna force the Moira's fate. She's like one HP. Don't wait for her to use her fade. Luckily, she just uses her fade here for no reason. I'm pretty sure. But you don't see it, because you're not looking at her. You could have gone on her, this is a free kill. Keep healing here, that's good. Go back out. Go on this mercy. Oh. Why are you focusing their DPS? Most of the time, like, you don't want to be focusing Tracer or Genji. There's like so much going on in this fight. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say for this. I feel like also you just need to like, I, I know, it's cause you're not playing corner, like, you're just in the middle, you're not really like, you need to be playing corners, 
Like, all the time as Doomfist. Like, almost all the time. Except when you're, like, engaging. But even when you're engaging, you should plan around corners. But you're just, like, in the middle, standing around. Like, you should, you should be on this. And if they go in, you punch them. If they come here, you punch them. You're just, like, in the middle of them. You, they take so many angles on you. And you have, like, nowhere to escape. What rank is this? We have to guess. What do you guys think? I think it's probably like... Gold, maybe? You have abilities, you didn't need to do this. Also, like, you didn't need to slam out there either. Like, they don't have any CCs. You can fully engage there. Like, uh, you're probably scared, but... I mean, yeah, your team isn't really ready to follow up, but you have, like, a billion HP, and they don't have any CCs. Here, I would instantly... I would instantly block, turn this tracer, and you wouldn't need to ult here. You can, like, slam out, slam here, play this corner a bit, and then punch back to your team. Or... Yeah. Kinda just ult for no reason here. And then you target the Genji for some reason, even though you see the Mora fade. Like your your Ash bobs to help you. But you it's unfortunate you slam out. What? Yeah, you need to work on your like your timing for your your block for sure. Like here, a lot of the time, um, try to try to just like when they have a tracer, try to pay attention to their fire pattern. Like, you know, she has to reload. So she shoots you with one clip. She just finished firing at you with the clip. She's reloading. I would block right now. You block when she's reloading again. Great. By the way, like... You're, I, I see you're trying to get more charge off of your, your power block, but you also just seem so lost all the time, and I can't help but think that this is contributing to it. Because you're just not looking at the enemy, you're just looking at the ground. <laughs> so maybe try not doing this. Like, I, I don't do it because I like to see where the enemy is. Like, I, I want to be aware. I don't want to be staring at the ground. Trying to get a headshot. On a laser, which you can't even, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't work anymore? It does. Uh, it's. Low gold because he knows absolutely no techs. Bro, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, man. What? Okay, here, you're just like, you're just in the open. You're just in the open here. You're standing in the open, standing in the open, still standing in the open. Punch them. Like, I, I get you're trying to like slam everyone here, but you should be slamming on this corner. Or even better, just slam here and go for the mega or something. But you, you slam, you slam in the open. And then you just walk back in a straight line this way, like, you're just... You need to play corners a lot more. 
Like, your supports are just working overtime to keep you alive because you're just standing in the open. I, I would wait to use, like, you should use your ult af when you have no abilities or when you're about to die. Or both. Like, yeah, you still have your block here. Like, you can still hold the space. Yeah, yeah I, I would be blocking there. Like you just you just land on them and it does nothing. Like you're trying to use it for damage, and like so many people in my comments, they're like, "Why do you never use ult?" It's because it doesn't do any damage. You're not gonna kill anyone with it. You need to use it as like an escape tool, or to get more abilities when you're destroying them. Like, the ult by itself is awful. You need to use it in conjunction with your other abilities. Like, you're just never gonna get value by just pressing ult. I think one of the main things is you need to be playing corners. Because you're just in the open so much, so so often. Wait, did you just walk out of spawn? Send your best. I'm ready. Wait, you know you know your punch is like a four second cooldown, right? <laughs> you should like go use your abilities to get back to your team. You just walked out of spawn. Hello? Who thinks he's like playing Zarya or something? <laughs> yeah, okay, I I'm gonna stop pointing out that you're just in the open, but you, you just slam on the cart, you're in the open, and you're just walking back. Like, you should try to hug this corner when you're backing, at least. And like, you're backing up to the right here, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna stop pointing it out, because it's obvious, but you need to work on playing corners. Corners... Yeah. Everything revolves around corners in this game. I mean, in a lot of the games, actually. I mean, you can do this because you have your ult, but like, you're engaging very early. Big thing with like Doom is engagement timing. I mean, it's it's a thing for every hero, but I think especially like you need to be engaging when your team can help you. Punch doesn't do that. This guy watches get quite on 100%. Yeah, he does. For sure. Yeah. I mean, you can look down if you want, but you look really lost a lot of the time, and I think not looking down would help you a lot because then you you can actually see what you're doing. What the enemy is doing. 
Can make a plan. You're not staying at the ground. Uh, the, the amount of times where you're just like in the open with no abilities, just walking back in a straight line and somehow living because your supports are just the goats. It's crazy. I feel like you're just also just spamming abilities. Like, you don't have a plan. You just like, you see someone and you press an ability. A new playlist? No. I added some new songs, but it's not new. Yeah, you need to stop, like, you need to stop, you, you do this a lot, you, you use your, you use your slam, you block, or no, you use your slam, you use your punch, then you block, and then you slam it again, you have no block, and, like, you're punching, and they're not even going to hit a corner, like, the, not a corner, a wall. Like, you need to wait for your... If you want to engage with your slam like this, when you have Empowered Punch, you need to wait for your... You need to wait for your block to come back. Like, you need to play more safe. Like, somehow you're just alive, because no one's looking at you. But... It's not... This is not it. Like, wh why aren't you blocking here? I'm curious. Like... The Zarya's just beaming him. Like, I feel like you always just block like a second or two too, or too late. Like, what? you should just be blocking directly after this punch. Directly after you this punch. You punch three of them, they're all looking at you. You just block here and you get your empower punch. But you block the second they stop looking at you. You need to you need to keep track of this more as fade more. The thing that that makes Mora like the thing that you can counter Mora is like you need to pay attention to her fade. When she uses it, you go on her. You keep not like acknowledging that she uses fade. It's this is also like a tar target priority issue. You're being kind of harsh, yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm trying to help him. I appreciate the harsh feedback actually trying to learn. I'm glad. I'm glad. Score. You want me to keep reviewing? Because I feel like it's more of the same stuff. Or I, I can keep going. I mean, I'm pretty sure you paid 10 gifted or something. So it's up to you. I can keep going if you want. But I feel like it's more of the same. Play better in offense? Okay, I'll look at it, sure. Nice, that's a good block. Yeah. 
You, I think, okay, uh, uh, one thing you do with your slam a lot, like when they're all grouped, you just slam like directly in front of them. You want to use your slam a lot to like create an off angle. Like, it, I kind of want to draw, but I, I also don't want to draw. But y yeah, you want to, you want to make it so that people either look at you or look at your team. That's how you make space on Doom. But if you just slam directly in front of the enemy, your people are just they're just gonna look at the same direction and also also if you slam in front of their whole team, they're just gonna sh like you're gonna take so much damage. You need to make them turn in order to take less damage. I would, I would wait for my abilities, wait for your team to get back, and then I'll go on this Hanzo, for sure. Yeah, you focus the tank too much, I think. Like, you could- you will shoot this Ryan all day, you'll- you'll never kill him. Uh, I mean, I- you're trying to punch him into your team. He just has so much HP, and- a giant shield. Yeah, this trap you need to kill too. Okay, I, I don't know if you see it. I, I think you do see it. Well, okay. I guess you didn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you need to... Hmm. You need to create an off angle. I mean, what I want to see you do... Is you walk up... Like, you were backing up here and then slamming in, like, in the middle of all of them. You want to make it so that no one's to your back when you're engaging as well. So I, w I would like to see you like, like walk up to this corner maybe, and then slam like here. You slam here, then only the Hanzo can see you. Only you can see the Hanzo, or I mean, your team can also probably see the Hanzo. And then either their your their team backs up here to try and deal with you. Or they all come and turn their backs to your whole team and chase you. Like you, this is what I'm, this is what I mean by like creating create an off angle. You you want to make it so that they they have to turn. They they have to look at either you or your team. Good. Yeah, you should you should be slamming like you should go here. And then if like higher like if I was if this was my game, I would go here and this Ryan would probably pin me. He would try and he would try and pin me. So I I would try and back up here if possible. I just like escape. Or I mean you could go point. Uh I, I personally wouldn't go point because not everyone in my rank would be up so far like this. But in your situation you could go point. Honestly, and that would create like instant space because low pl luring players are just like obsessed with the point. You touch the point once, and everyone's going to it. You sort of do what I'm asking, but you could have just used your slam to get damage and create more pressure. But this is fine, I guess. Okay, you have like the perfect perfect opportunity to like drop punch on them. Just like go back to in front of your team. I feel like you're you're trying to protect your team too much. I think that's why you're staying in front of your team. Maybe your your job as a tank is not to protect your team. It is to create space that enables your team, like that that makes people look at you and enables your team to to walk forward. Like you're not gonna sit there and block on Doomfist. To protect your team. That's just not how the character works. Or yeah. yeah like, you need to you need to just slam behind them. This is you that's what you need to do. Like I was talking about not slamming in earlier. Like you should be punching in most of the time. But if they're playing Reinhardt, 
You need to just create off angles, because the Reinhardt can just like block one angle really well, but he can only block one angle. So, yeah, you just like slam in on a corner. Oh, yeah. I like this from you, this is big. Uh, personally, I would have gone for just a punch, straight up. Like... Yeah. You, you didn't really need to slam in first. I would have gone, I tried to get the junk rat because he was really low, but... Yeah. <laughs> I would go for the mega. I would go for the mega here. I know you're not, but... No. Oh my god, your fair is the goat. Your fair is actually the goat. That Moira just holds your whole team there, she doesn't hit that. If they're playing Reinhardt, you just need to be slamming behind them. That's just the bottom line, pretty much. I think that's what I've... A main improvement for you. The support lineup? The support lineup doesn't matter. Wait! Wait, what? Wait, you can get it fully from this? You can get it fully from orb? Wait, what? Since when? I thought Wait, something must have hit you or so something else. Feel free to join me. Wait, what? Wait. Powered up. Wait, I didn't know that. Wait, I didn't know that. I thought it got. I thought with the with Doom's block nerf, it. <laughs> yeah, I thought the nerf made it so you can't block orb anymore. No way. Well, I know. See, no one's. <laughs> you can always learn more. You can always learn more. <laughs> You're welcome, Nuba. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wait, I actually didn't know that! That's cr- What?! That's crazy! That's crazy. I swear it got patched. I swear. Appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, no one in my games plays Moira, so that's also like a reason, kinda. Or, this is just cope. My bad. I would just go for this. I would just go for the- The Hanzo sees you? Screw it. I would just still go. I'm alpha. I just go for this. I go for this punch in the back line here. He won't kill you. You can't, I've tried. Now you're thinking of all the times you could have had charged punch. I mean, honestly, it's not even that many, and that much. Like, a lot of the time, I yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've used more orb to get my charge punch before, but not like fully from only more orb. I didn't know you could do that. I thought it did too little damage. Big? Oh, the double. 
You should be looking at their supports. Your target priority needs work. Why are you backing up? Why are you backing up when you punch them? Why do you just back up? I don't understand. When you punch someone like this? Or like, more like the Zen. I mean, it's okay that you do this to the Hanzo. I mean... What? Like, if you... If you just walk forward, he probably only needs two shots. But because you, like, back up, less pellets hit. And he needs three. So... You sh Keep that in mind, like... When to walk forward, when to walk... There's definitely times when you should be walking back. Like, when you when you can't get the kill, but when you can get the kill, you should be walking forward. Because it also just, like, the travel time of the bullets, it's, it's less when you walk forward. Okay. I hope that helped. Uh, the most thing, like, mostly it's just playing corners. Playing, using your slam to create off angles. Um, target priority. I'm guessing, I'm guessing gold. What, what rank are you? Did you rally a gold last season for those who want to know? Trying to get better on PC? Yeah.